Hey guys, I'm popping on today because I had an interesting uh, thing that happened today. It's uh, it's um, a day I drop my kids off to school like most other days. And um, my husband has recently started this new tradition with one of my sons. When he goes up the stairs, there's this window that he can see out of as he's traveling through. And he started asking my husband, Daddy, Daddy, can you uh, wave to me? So he started waiting. And now my husband said, hey, can you do that? So, and my son's like, Dad, can you do what Daddy does? So I'm like, okay. So now I'm like, I just want to go. I got work to do. I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I realized today it was an interesting concept about being present. And I do have the good fortune to be self-employed where I can take those extra five minutes if, you know, lots of people have to race off to work and I get that. Um, but for me, I, I feel privileged to be able to do that. So these are the moments and this is where the, this key thought, if you can follow me, came from today. The key thought was, um, I want to be present for my kids. I'm like, and that's kind of like a, a catch-all phrase. Everyone's like, oh, be present. But what does it actually mean? It means obviously being in the moment. But I had an epiphany, and it was the idea that I want to be all that I can for my kids. We all want to be all, all that we can in our lives, right? We all have that. That's nothing new, and that train of thought isn't new. But there was a through line that it kind of caught my thinking, which was in order to, okay, let me go back. Um, this is live, so keep with me. I might train up thought here. Um, the idea of ha having a legacy for my kids came into my mind. I thought, what do I want to be remembered for? The person that always rushes off, that wasn't present with my kids, that didn't play with them when they had the opportunities. So I... I had this interesting idea that maybe being present had something to do with looking to the future and then turning the camera around and looking back to our current lives. Meaning, what kind of legacy do we want to leave? And maybe if we thought about that, that that would um, influence the moment we have right now to being more, not only obviously fully present, but being the person that we want to be remembered for. I know it sounds a bit morbid, like, oh, let's you know, live into our future selves. But that's an interesting thought right there, living into our future selves. Because when you're living into what you have an expectation for, it governs the decisions that you make right now and today. And, and um, I thought that was very, very interesting. Like the scene from Pretty Woman, you know, where she's in the elevator and she's all dressed up and she looks like a million bucks. And she says, turns to Richard Gere and Julie Roberts says, I forget, if I forget to tell you later, I had a really good time tonight. And I was like, oh, what a great moment because she is setting the expectation for what her future is going to be. And so in that, um, kind of setting herself up for a beautiful experience here and now. So that was my quick takeaway. I wanted to get on and share that while, while my thoughts were fresh about it. Because I thought maybe that's the distinction right there. Being present is about quickly going to your future and looking back and becoming the person that you want to be remembered for. So hey, Lily, thanks for popping on. So um, this was a really interesting moment. Did you miss it? I'm going to say it again. I'm talking about being present. And my distinction and my thought process today was maybe being present is really a function of looking to the future, thinking about the legacy and how you want to be remembered in life, which I know sounds morbid, but thinking that way may in fact impact the, oh, there goes my coffee and I haven't had any yet. Living in the future, in your thoughts, impacts the impact um, the present moment because you're able to think how do I want to be remembered by and choosing in that moment to be awesome or to be not so awesome and I've had moments where I've been really really present really present to how annoyed I am or upset I am and I, I lash out and I'm like wow well, why is my house a mess and why are the kids like this and eat your breakfast and you know I have those moments everybody does so but do I want to be remembered for that heck no so I think the distinction for me was like kind of mind-blowing. Looking to my future, how do I want to be remembered in terms of the legacy I leave in this life for the people that, you know, 
at my funeral, what are they going to say? And then turning that camera around and choosing in that moment to be all that I really want to be. Instead of, because being present is great. And sometimes being present means you're really present to all the crap that's happening and you don't necessarily want to reflect that. So maybe that's the distinction right there is that you get to shift how you be in the present. Oh, maybe that's it. You get to shift how you are and how you be in the present moment by determining who you want to be and how you want to be remembered. So that was my distinction for today, which I thought was pretty powerful. So I wanted to get on and share that with you. And now my, my coffee machine went off. I have to go have some hot coffee. So if you have any thoughts, oh, wait, there may be even comments. And I'm like not always great at this. No, it says write a comment. I don't want to do that. My swiping, quiet mode, turn left to reveal comments. Okay, I'm so bad at this. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, yeah, give me your feedback because I'm really interested to hear. Am I the only one that thinks this or is this like this amazing revelation that I'm going to change the world with? Or maybe everyone th thinks this already. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like behind the eight ball. But I think that was a key distinction. In order to be present, you have to look to the future, turn the camera around and imagine all you want to be remembered for and then choose how you're going to be in that moment. That's what being present is. Because then you can be present to all the great things that are happening in this moment and choosing to live a life that uh, you want to be remembered for and remembered by. So that was my key takeaway today. Give me your thoughts, comment, share, like, subscribe, um, and uh, tell me some thoughts that you've, that you've had about whether you're able to be present in the day, um, how you stay present if you do, if it's a practice that you, that you work on regularly, or if you're just like, I don't know, I'm just going through life and whatever happens, happens. Sometimes that happens. Some days are like that. So um, today just happened to have been one of those moments where kind of like a, a truth just dropped in for me. So I thought I'd share. So anyway, have an awesome rest of the day. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and um, give me your feedback. Let me know what you're thinking about today and how you stay present. And we'll catch up soon. Take care.